Tonight we have the names and we're learning the stories of the five people killed when a house exploded in Plum. They are Kevin Sabunia, whose daughter tells us her dad had just walked her down the aisle at her wedding last month. Michael Thomas was the Plum Borough manager. Casey and Keegan Klontz were father and son. Keegan would have been starting junior high school this year and playing football for the Plum Mustangs youth team. And Heather Orbitz was the community development director for Plum Borough. Tonight, members of the community gathered to remember the five victims. KDK's Jennifer Barrasso was there. It was a somber service. Bishop David Zubik announced the names of the five people killed in Saturday's home explosion in Plum. He called for the community to come together. Amid insurmountable pain and grief. It's so hard to wrap your mind around the loss of life. Um, and it's, it's just sad, just incredibly, incredibly sad, and it just makes, makes my heart heavy. People packed St. John the Baptist Church in Plum for a special service, four days after the devastating deadly house explosion at Rustic Ridge. The five red candles symbolized the five lives lost, the white candle for the man in critical condition. Three of the five victims were parishioners, including Michael Thomas, the Plum Borough manager, who was next door at the house that exploded. Ron Donatelli talked about his good friend. Mike was a very self-giving man. Um, as a matter of fact, it's no surprise at all that he died while, while helping a neighbor. Um, so that's who he was. He was a great public servant and he was a wonderful husband and father. Plum's mayor reflected on the borough's community development director, Heather Orovitz, who lived in the house that exploded, according to records. Her husband, Paul, is in critical condition. Heather was a mother, uh, and uh, she was a, a sports fanatic. Don't play, her bat, don't play her in basketball, and certainly don't play her in pickleball. The Brennans met Casey Klontz and his 12-year-old son, Keegan, two months ago at a wedding. Keegan was just like a happy, laughing little boy, and Casey seemed to be really close to him. Just devastating for everyone all around, their family and everyone who lives in that neighborhood. Bishop David Zubik reminded people about the significance of prayer and silent reflection in this time of distress, shock, and confusion. The whole purpose of it was to set aside from busy schedules, take the time and to say there is a God, and there is a God who is merciful, and there's a God who is kind, and there's a God who wants to give us all the consolation that we need. Tonight, many people are asking why and how. The Allegheny County Fire Marshal's office says the homeowners at the house that exploded were having hot water tank issues before the blast. At this point, no official cause has been determined. In Plum, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK-TV News.